going on, guys? This is David. And what? And what? <laughs> All right. Well, <laughs> what's going on, guys? <laughs> Today we got something different. Yeah, here's something going on over here. Uh, one of my old guitar cases. What this looks like to me is an old 60s, 60s uh, guitar case amp. Yeah, that's what it is. It's a Sears Silvertone guitar case and amp. Look at this monster. Look at this. You can't beat this. You know, look at this. Gorgeous red interior. No, won't fit. A little bit too big. Damn, man. <laughs> Back in the 60s, Silvertone used to sell this as a kit with a guitar and the case. We don't have the guitar, though. No, we don't have the guitar. That would be kind of uh, cool, though. Yeah, it would. That. Yeah. Uh, this model, which is the 1448 amp, came with a single pickup guitar. And the guitar and amp were made by none other than Dan Electro. Well, that isn't exactly uh, shocking. Dan Electro's done a lot of uh, stuff over the years. Uh, this has a three tubes. There it goes. And one volume control. That's it. Six inch speaker. So in order to get any kind of gritty sound out of it, you gotta crank it all the way up. But it's old and it's still got the original speaker in it, so we're not gonna do that. <laughs> I don't wanna I don't wanna put the old man out of its misery quite yet. The outside was originally more like the black speckle that's in here. Let me kind of zoom in on here. Give you a little bit better idea of what it looked like. That is kind of cool though. And uh, when I got the amp back in the late 60s, it was the outside was really chewed up really in bad. Poor condition? Yeah. So I. Where did you get this from a store or did you get it off of one of your buddies? Uh, I got it off a neighbor who used to collect strange things. And <laughs> since he knew I played guitar, he said, ah, oh, this would be great for Wayne. So um, I got it and had it ever since. Do you ever have a guitar that fit in it? Or no, it I just... never had a guitar that fit in it. Huh. It's uh, pretty cool though. So you got it pop re, uh, redone in all wood, huh? Well, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, the wood grain finish here. The wood grain finish. The speaker cover, that's all original. Well, this is. You know, the speaker's all the way down yeah. there. Yeah. That's where the speaker is, right here. Now, back in the 60s, this sold for $67.95. Okay, you can't even touch... You can't, can't even touch, touch an instrument or an amp for that price anymore. We can get a micro-amp, like our uh, yeah. Battle of the Amps. Yeah. That would be in that in that price range. I mean, technically, what is this, like 5, 10 watts at the most? 5? Probably. Probably. So yeah, you better, yeah, this would be, yeah. I mean, it's definitely not, you know, the Bugera or one of the Fenders or a Line 6 or anything. It is pretty cool, and it's got a really unique sound, to, really great sound to Talking it. Talking with some of the guys uh, we had met down at Guitar Center when I had this in there, and uh, the one guy actually used to jam on stage with one of these. They used to mic it up. <laughs> so let's... That's actually kind of cool. Let's give it a little louder here. Too for yeah, nah, well, you got it up to four, four so. yeah. yeah. They made five different versions of the okay amp case, uh, this being the bottom end. Um, well, they released at different times, or these all released pretty oh, much all around, just the, same all around time. the same time, 
Uh, they released this one first and their biggest complaint was more power and uh, they came out with a 4-2 version. More power and then they came out with these. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, the guitar that came out with, this is a 1448, the 1449 was uh, a two pickup guitar. Okay. So uh, that's kind of how you can tell if these were original sets. Uh, the 3-tube amp came with a single pickup the 1448, which is 3 tube, came with a single pickup guitar, 1449, 2 pick. 4 tube. Yeah. 4 tube guitar, so the 51, 52, and 57 were just later models, but right. a little bit higher. Right. They had more, more features on them and bigger speakers, and eventually they well, kind of phased them we've out. Been, we've been griping about more power for years, and like I said, we griped, we griped too much, and then they came out with that, you know, things behind us, and, you know. Give it, a, give it 50 more years, and the, the these heads will be about that big, and you know 500 watts <laughs> with the tubes on top. That is really cool. You don't you don't see a lot of these. No, you really don't. They're they come up once in a while on either eBay or uh, the guitar stores. Uh, the guitar stores know what they got, though. You're looking at yeah. a, you're looking at a good penny. Yeah. Uh, generally, the they don't run if the cheap. guitar and amp are in decent shape, you're looking at somewhere in the vicinity of five to seven hundred dollars. <sighs> yeah, they and yet they sold new for sixty, you know, sixty-eight bucks, <laughs> or seventy, you know, seventy bucks or eighty bucks or whatever the, the higher end one sold for at the yeah. time. Yeah. And now they're selling for six to seven hundred or five to seven hundred dollars. Nice markup. <laughs> That's a nice markup over the years. Pretty cool amp. Yeah. I guess the only thing is we don't have the guitar to jam along with it, but you know what? This is still really cool. Still really cool to have in our our arsenal. <laughs> if you want to consider an arsenal. Uh, <laughs> kind of rickety. And, you know, I, I wouldn't want to be running across stage and... Uh, have the cord catch and drop the whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> you know. No, that's why you run a wireless kit and you throw you know, a couple of pedal, throw a uh, signal a pedal chain on it, and there you go. You know, to be really crazy about it, you get a wall of these things and you put that, but you put this behind it. <laughs> you mic this up. And you can walk it on stage. You drop it on stage and you plug it in, and <laughs> there you go. <laughs> get your rhythm guitar player to play out of a you know. A whole wall of Marshalls, and you come out, you know, come out with your guitar and your case, and yeah, but, you know, put, it on, put it on the stage, six, mic it up, and there you go. Six-inch speaker doesn't sound that bad. I mean, you know. No, I mean, no. Honestly, it doesn't really sound bad at all. Like I said we we haven't hooked up anything up to it other than just strictly guitars. So I remember, I remember when we first found this thing in our again in our basement. We tried plugging it in. Yeah. That was pretty fun. <laughs> yeah, this thing has gone through a number of uh, revisions and repairs, and it's still not perfect, but 100%. it's yeah, it's it's getting there, and uh, uh, like to he, like to refinish it and get the original material for it. At least you can plug into a, at least you can plug a guitar into it now without lighting your eyes up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, minor minor problems. <laughs> Only minor. Only minor. But it doesn't do that anymore. So no. <laughs> he was laughing when we uh, when we first set this up. I grabbed my uh, I grabbed my little Epiphone guitar. I said, "Okay, now we're gonna try this, and hopefully nobody's eyes get lit up over this." Then once I realized it was okay to play, I put my good guitars on it. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, this is this is really cool. The origin, the inside is that all original? The yeah. red? Yeah, it's uh, a, actually a red felt. Okay, nice, uh, you know, nice. Not a lot of protection for the guitar. You know, the no, guitar I mean, used to I, bang around on the inside. <laughs> you know, it's, it's not like today's SKB cases or any of that, where you know you can be doing ninety miles an hour down the highway and f let, let it fall out of the back of your pickup truck. Your guitar will still be okay. But this is cool. I mean, you know, overall, the it being so many years old, it's still sounding with the original speaker sounding right, as good right, as it does. Right. Yeah, you know, put a put a new speaker in it, and well, it's not quite that simple. The original this speaker actually has a transformer on it to reduce the amount of voltage going to it. <laughs> so, you, you really, 
So but yeah, you more really, to it than uh, just replacing yeah. the, the speaker. So, but even for the lack of, I, mean, I wouldn't want to spill a beer on or anything at the show. I mean, it tend to, but no, I mean this is really, really a cool piece. And most of it being original, especially with the uh, the front grill I've heard of, you know, the, the case coming in and then being torn up. And, yeah. And radier than, you know, radier than normal coming in. But uh, the wood grain, you know, if you, if you didn't know any better, you'd think it was that, you know, actually that. So, okay. I guess that's, you know, anything else you got to say? Yeah, give it, give it one more. So, okay. Thank you so much, guys, for watching. We really appreciate it. Uh, we are over... 40,000. Thank you, guys. Rock on. That's awesome. Keep on subscribing. Keep on watching. We got a whole bunch of new subscribers. We got more stuff coming up. And thank you uh, to everyone who subscribed. We really, really appreciate that. Spread the word. Tell your friends. Uh, like I said, we got some pretty cool stuff coming up. Uh, this was kind of the rare ones, but uh, there's more stuff coming. And more guest appearances from what I'm gathering too. Yeah, we got a couple more coming up and some new Sounds like our good buddy Bill's been up to up to no good the past couple of months since he's been here. He's got a got a new <laughs> guitar in the works, he wants to come out and show everybody. So Alright. So have a great have a great day guys. Remember to comment, rate, and subscribe, and keep on watching. And keep on rocking. See you real soon. <laughs>